Science Mom here with Math Dad, and we're back for challenge problem number 25. Indeed we are. In this challenge problem, it's another geometric construction, your favorite, and the way it works is I take a square and shade the upper half, and then the bottom left corner, another square, shade, and so on, getting a sequence of triangles that are shaded. This process continues forever. How come it's called a hungry fish? No, no, no reason, no reason. I want you to try, try the problem. Maybe I'll explain at the end. <laughs> All right. Um, All right are, you, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, I'm going to put two minutes on the clock and I'll have you flip to the other screen. Go. There we go. What portion of the original square is shaded? So, obviously one half of this big square is shaded. Hmm. This one flips over and fills up that. Um, I was about ready to brag and say, ha, I know how to do these geometric subdivision problems now. This one's not going to stump me but I'm feeling slightly stumped. Let me think. So this, I think this looks like it's one-fourth of the big triangle in area. And I think all the other ones are the same. Okay. I think it's three fourths. I think three fourths is shaded. Is that right? No, it doesn't look like it's quite like three fourths. I was thinking that maybe. Oh man, nuts. Okay, so I don't. I'm gonna clear clear all that real quick. X. How do I? Oh, X. Clear everything. Down to twelve seconds. Twelve seconds. Ah. Little sticks. I need a so I need a pattern that can repeat. And if I just look at make a guess, make a guess. Ah. Uh, Three fourths. No. All right. Wait. Let's go back. Redo. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. No hints. No hints. No hints. I get a little more time to think about this. Uh, th there's not as obvious of a pattern to this one where before, you know, you, if you recognize a pattern that repeats, it's easier to, but I guess what I need to do is sort of figure out, you know, X again. Okay, so if I take this, for example, this is something that repeats over uh -huh. and over again. And then I can cut it up like this. And then if I divided that into a triangle as well, I would have one, two, three, four, five, six equal pieces. And one, two, three, four of those equal pieces is shaded. And four out of six, of course, reduced to two thirds. So my answer is two thirds. That is correct. Took me a minute to see the repeating area in that one. I don't know why. Right, and that, yeah. that was definitely the easier trick. You don't want to have to add up the infinite, infinite. series. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And why did I call this guy Hungry Fish? I'm very curious. Okay. <laughs> well, the exact region that you just outlined uh -huh. looks to me a lot like one of those dory fish. So this fish here is eating this fish here, which is trying to eat this fish here, which is trying to eat this fish here. Are you seeing a fish there? Um, hold on a second. You, you have to have dorsal fins to be a fish <laughs> and a tail. You really do. Okay, now it looks like a fish. 
<laughs> All right, yep. So we got the sequence of, of hungry fish. All right. <laughs>